Hey guys, welcome back to Earth Day to all of you. Are safe and healthy. It's an amazing season. It's monsoons. So today, I'm going to share with you a few tips, a few things to consider, a few things to avoid during this monsoon seasons in our garden, which will actually keep our garden healthy, happy, and at the same time, it's going to lead a very healthy lifestyle. So the first and foremost step is to clear off the top layer of soil. Why? The top layer of soil, if we have any Dried leaves, dried twigs, coco peat, coconut husk, or whatever we had done in the previous season to retain the moisture, we need to remove that off right now and make sure that area is clean and dry because this will act as a great medium for the insects. For the worms to breed, for the mosquitoes to breed. So, for example, millipedes and centipedes. Centipedes are a little risky. So, if they start breeding in our pots, it's going to be a little tough for us to work in that pot or work in that garden. So, make sure that there are no such elements provided in that particular place. Next sign your plant is going to show you is the yellowing of leaves, which means the plant is getting a lot of water or the plant is not getting good amount of water. And if you notice these types of earthworms moving out of the pot, it means that you need to check the soil of that particular pot. If it is going to be clay like this, hard like this, and aggregates are going to be pretty much harder, it means that the plant, the root is not flexibly moving in. It's tight. If the soil is tight, the roots will not be flexibly able to move in, especially the new plants. So if you remove the pot and see that the earthworms are settling at the base of the pot, it means that the soil is harder and we need to add something to loosen up the soil it's not just about the plant right now but considering our health and our safety we need to elevate the height of the pots right now because this will act as a great hiding space for centipedes millipedes and earthworms too so these are concrete uh, spacer blocks that we use in our construction so i just got a few of them over here and these are going to be very cost effective methods at the same time they're going to elevate the pot in a good height so this way this if you're planning to clean that area if you're going to wash it with water this wouldn't have any types of insects or worms settle at the base and there wouldn't be any hiding place for them so this is going to be one important safety factor if you're planning to place your pots anywhere in your balconies or in your terrace or even in your ground floors next important thing to consider is the water stagnation since we shifted recently we kind of propagated quite a lot of plants in tiny pots was a last minute setup so we kind of just got a plastic pot and in spite of having holes in it we did notice that the water did not move off and it got stagnated so this will also lead to the breeding of mosquitoes so make sure that your pots are pretty much clean and dry next thing is to check the health of the soil or the condition of the soil and the health of the plants if they're showing good growth and if they're not rotting or drying it means that the soil is doing pretty much good and rainy season is a magical season where you will find tremendous growth new propagation new germination so all of these are henna plants i just popped out one particular uh, branch of that seedling and i could see quite a lot of plants developing here so if you're planning to grow any type of uh, plants in this particular season go ahead because this is a magical season and almost all your plants are going to grow extremely well next thing again is to notice for the diseases in the plant leaves so make sure to chop them off or to clear or trim them off then and there because else it will start spreading very badly So this season is a magical season where given a tiny little care for our plants, our plants are going to flourish so well and they're going to be super happy. But make sure to follow these tiny little steps. Hope this video was helpful. Meet you guys in the next video. Until then, Namaste.